Hi, this is Chris from SohoMaps.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a custom region of any part of the world. So we start with a world map at SimpleMaps.com world, and then just click on the Customize Online tool. Okay, and then click on Regions. And you can see by default the world map has um, six different regions uh, that are zoomable. And what we're going to do is, instead of having the map be focused on all the countries, we're going to create a map that only focuses on um, a new region that we create. So to get started, we're going to delete all of the regions. So just click on North America, click Control A or Command A, and hit Delete. And that gets rid of all the regions in the map. And we're going to create, in this example, a region of Scandinavia. You could create a region um, of any countries in the world. So I'll paste in Scandinavia. And as soon as I do that, notice a couple of things. First of all, we have an ID that's unique for Scandinavia. So the map identifies Scandinavia using the ID zero. And we've created a new spreadsheet down here where we can list the states that are in the region of Scandinavia. So it happens that Scandinavia includes the countries of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. So the two digit ID for Denmark happens to be DK. And um, if you're, this, this is the ISO code, the two digit ISO code that the country has been given. But if you're unsure of what a country's code is, you can just click on the states tab and you can um, sort the states and go down and we can see here that Denmark does indeed have an ID of DK. All right, and we're also gonna add Norway, which happens to be NO, and Sweden, which happens to be SE. All right, now that we've added these, the map is actually updating itself. So if we come up here to Scandinavia, it is in fact zoomable, and we have grouped these three countries together. All right, now we also not only want to group these together, but we want to start the map zoomed in on these countries. So we're going to click on the Settings tab, and we just go down to the initial region. Instead of having an initial region of negative 1, which includes all the countries, we're going to use an initial region of 0 which is the ID for Scandinavia. And sure enough, if we go ahead and refresh the browser, you can see when the map's loaded, we load right into, um, right into Scandinavia. But we still have the back button and we still have these adjacent countries. So to get rid of those, we, we go to the initial region only row and set that to yes. And all of the adjacent um, countries in our back arrow disappear. So there we go, we, we just have Scandinavia. Um, and at this point, we can go ahead, we'll save the map. It's now saved at a unique URL we can come back to later. Um, we can bookmark the page. You can download the map as a trial, try installing it on your website, or you can purchase a license. Um, so thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email.